The last video for the section that we're looking at tonight will be multiplying polynomials. To multiply polynomials, we want to use the distributive property. Just like we saw when we distributed a negative, but this is going to be a little bit more in depth. Our general procedure. So notice we have our first polynomial here multiplied by our second polynomial here. To multiply polynomials, you want to look at your first polynomial. We take the first term in this polynomial and we multiply it by every term in the second polynomial. Once we've done that, we take our second term in our first polynomial and we multiply that term by every term in the second polynomial. This process continues until we've gone through every term in the polynomial. Now the general procedure is a little abstract. It's probably easier to look at an example. We have example one, where we have the polynomial 2x squared y minus z cubed times the polynomial 4 plus 3z minus 3xy. If you think you know how to do this one already, try it on your own and then compare your answer when you're ready to. For this, we'll start with the first term in the first polynomial, the 2x squared y, and multiply it by each term in the second polynomial. So we end up with 4x squared y plus 6x squared yz minus 6x cubed y squared. And that just comes from multiplying 2x squared y by 4 for the 4x squared y, 2x squared y times 3z for the 6x squared yz, and 2x squared y times negative 3xy for the negative 6x cubed y squared. We then go through the same process, but for the next term in our first polynomial. So we'll take our negative z cubed and multiply that one by every term in the second polynomial. We get negative 4z cubed minus 3z to the fourth plus 3xyz cubed. We do always want to double check for like terms see, we have an x squared y here, but that doesn't appear again. We have x squared y z, that doesn't appear again. We have x cubed y squared, which does not appear again. z cubed, z to the fourth, and x y z cubed. Looks like we have all of the terms already combined that can be. So we get 4x squared y plus 6x squared y z minus 6x cubed y squared minus 4z cubed minus 3z to the fourth plus 3xyz cubed. No, it's a long polynomial, but that is our final answer. Let's see, we have a little bit of extra time, so let's look at another example. Okay, how about we look at 3ab minus a squared times ab plus a squared. Take a moment to pause the video and come back when you're ready. Okay, for this one, we get 3a squared b squared plus 3a to the sorry, a cubed, there we go, a cubed b minus a cubed b minus a to the fourth. We can combine like terms, giving us 3a squared b squared plus 2a cubed b minus a to the fourth. And that is our final answer.